Hey, it's Anthony with eXp Realty and today we're going to be going over the pros and cons of living in Calgary, Alberta. Well, Calgary is generally regarded as a great place to live, uh, hence why it's constantly ranked as one of the top 50 places to live in the world the cleanest city in the world, and the most livable city in North America. With that said, no city is perfect, and that includes Calgary. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Calgary, and I love living here. Today, we're gonna to be breaking down the pros and the cons of living here, and what you need to know before moving to Calgary. Let's get into it. Let's get the negatives out of the way here and start with the cons. The first one on our list is the weather, and more specifically, the weather swings. While Calgary is known as the sunniest city in Canada and is generally warmer than our northern rivals, we are still located in the northern hemisphere and experience cold winters like any northern city. If temperatures below minus 20 are not your thing, you might want to avoid Calgary during the winter months. Calgary also has a strange reputation for being the hailstorm capital of Canada. Being a realtor, I know this all too well dealing with homes that have been affected by hailstorms. Because of the proximity to the mountains, there are many changes in the weather in Calgary from one day to another. It is quite normal for the temperature to go from just two to three degrees in the morning to a high of over 25 during the day, especially in the fall or spring. It could be plus 20 one day and snowing the next. We jokingly call this Alberta weather. In addition, Calgary has what is called Chinook winds, which are winds that come from the Pacific Ocean and go over the Rocky Mountains, which leads to the wind warming up and this causes temperature swings of over 20 degrees over a course of a few days or even weeks. It certainly is a positive note during the winter months when temperatures can go from minus 20 or minus 30 and the next thing you know it's plus 5 for a whole week. Newcomers or people sensible to the weather can often experience headaches when a Chinook is on the way. So keep that in mind if you are planning on moving here. While these temperature changes can be a negative for some, lots of people welcome the warmer weather during the cold winter months. Next up on our cons list is the subpar road infrastructure and subpar public transportation. Uh, it's no secret Calgary is a city built for cars with its sprawling freeways and spread out communities. This can make it difficult to get around if you are someone who relies on public transportation. Well, in terms of Alberta cities, the public transportation here is pretty good actually. When you look at the world stage, however, we are definitely lacking. It's not that the public transportation is necessarily bad, as it's been praised for its cleanliness and affordability. It just doesn't reach enough the city. Well, there is no shortage of bus routes with 166 total routes and over 6,000 stops. It's the light rail system that only reaches certain areas of the city that could definitely be better. There is progress, however, with the city breaking ground finally on the newly approved Green Line. This will help the communities in the north and the southeast stay connected with the rest of the city. If you have your own vehicle, you're not off the hook though. Like any Canadian city, we jokingly again experience two seasons here, which is winter and construction season. In the winter, you're gonna be dealing with the snow, the ice, the narrow roads, and in the summertime, be prepared to deal with delays due to road and lane closures as the city works on the upkeep on the roads here. Number three, and the last of our cons, is the lack of nightlife here. Um, this one might not apply to everyone, but if you are looking to dance the night away, there's not a lot of options here, considering how big of a city Calgary is. Calgary is more known for its active outdoor lifestyle and local and diverse restaurants. While there is no shortage of cool and unique places to try, especially on the trendy 17th Ave, 4th Street and Mission, or any of the cool breweries in Inglewood, when you think of a party city, Calgary isn't making any lists. So keep that in mind if that's your thing. For me, I enjoy what Calgary has to offer as I enjoy the lifestyle here. 
You can try a new place every week and never run out of new trendy places to check out. But again, not everyone's gonna share my opinion. Okay, the pros. Let's get into what makes Calgary such a great city. Number one is obviously the mountains. There's not many cities in the world, if any, that have everything Calgary has to offer with the ability to reach the mountains in less than an hour. This is easily one of the most desirable aspects of living in Calgary. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, there is a never ending list of adventures to be had in the Rocky Mountains. Coming from an avid hiker, I absolutely love the fact that I can take a day trip to Kananaskis or Canmore just to experience one of the most beautiful places in the world. On top of that, the ability to see them from many areas in the city here is really special. Next up on our pros is the low cost of living. I talk about this quite in depth in another one of my videos where I break down the monthly expenses of living here compared to some of the other major Canadian cities like Vancouver and Toronto. But this is a huge plus and a big reason why many people choose to move to Calgary. For example, the average price for a home here is just $457,000, while in Toronto and Vancouver, it's well over a million dollars. On top of that, we don't have any sales tax here in Alberta, although Canada does impose a general sales tax on goods and services at a federal level, Alberta has an extremely low level of tax. Living in Calgary, you can expect to pay 5% sales tax. Compare this to other provinces like Ontario, where you're going to be paying 13%. The last on our pro list is there's just simply so much to do here. Calgary has a never ending list of activities to do and events to experience. This is by far one of Calgary's greatest strengths. It doesn't matter what time of year, there seems to always be something happening in YYC. Whether you're sticking around the city to check out the world famous library, checking out the views from the Calgary Tower, touring Studio Bell, the National Music Center, or watching a Flames game, you don't have to go very far to experience some of the city's best attractions. For families, I recommend checking out Telespark Wind Sport at the Canadian Olympic Park, Heritage Park, or even the Calgary Zoo. If you have time for a day trip, you can see some of the most scenic places in the world at Banff or even Lake Louise, where again, there's a never ending list of outdoor adventures to experience. When you're done there, the dinosaur capital of the world is just an hour and a half in the other direction, where you can experience the natural beauty of the Badlands and learn about the dinosaurs at the Royal Tyrell Museum. And honestly, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface here. This could be its own video on its own with the amount of things you can do here in Calgary. And those were the top pros and cons of living in Calgary and what you need to know before moving here. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Did anything in this video surprise you? What was your favorite thing about Calgary? I might be a bit biased, but I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content about Calgary, hit that subscribe button as I'm always coming out with new Calgary related videos. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.